Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Okay, just saw a post by Rusty Nitch. I hope I'm saying that, you're saying your name right. Um, talking about knives, using them as strikers and um, most of the high carbon steel knives will throw sparks if you use the spine. I don't like doing it because you scuff the knife spine up. I usually use knives as strikers as an emergency. Um, your moras will do it occasionally. They don't throw very good sparks. Um, the best ones I ever found throwing sparks was my silky saws. They throw brilliant sparks. Really, really good. The most, the reason why most knives, high carbon steel knives, will throw sparks somewhat is they don't throw as good a sparks as what they could do is because they temper the blades. So the blades will be hardened and then they'll temper them back. So they're not really good as strikers because um, normally you want your strikers to be as hard as you can. So you run files or whatever, your strikers will be hardened to 65 Rockwell at least where knives will never be that hard, usually. They'll temper them back to 60, maybe, or even lower. So, yeah, that's um, just the way it is. Um, a good alternative is, if you're going to do a knife striker, is make one out of a file, like I've done here, and then make it as a dedicated striker knife. Um, most of the ones I've ever seen are patch knives and they're a lot smaller. This, I've, got a, I've got a one from um, Brinksworth and Smithy and it's a lot smaller. I don't like it as much because it's a little bit dangerous to use. The smaller knives tend to be a bit harder because they're um, a bit smaller and you run the risk of running up onto the blade. Hence I made this one. This is a um, variation on the blacksmith's knife, what they call a blacksmith's knife. Um, and I wanted to make a knife striker that was a lot safer to use, still sparked, but was capable of being used as a knife, which this one could be. I, I just haven't sharpened it. It's still reasonably sharp, but not sharp enough to be good. I, I, I'm going to sharpen it eventually. Um, but I basically made it bigger so that you can use it as a knife and also strike it. I'll spark and get an ember with it now. But um, it's big enough so that you can safely used as a striker because this edge here is big enough so you can hold it safely without fear of going up onto the edge and cutting yourself. This one was oil quenched. I don't normally oil quench files. I normally water quench them but this one was oil quenched and sparked incredibly well. So yeah, that's. Um, I, I just suggest if you're going to do knife strikers, um, make them one, make them out of a file, and um, go from there. If you're going to go the route of having a a knife, maybe don't worry about a knife and use a silky saw, although the silky saws are expensive too. So, yeah, you scuff the hell out of your your silky saws. But I suggest getting a, um, a file and making one like that. There you go. Proof's in the pudding. No problems. This one sparks very well. And as you can see, it's safe to use because 
I just hold on to the tine. I've annealed all the tine so it's all soft. Just hold on to the tine and spark away. You can hold it like that to use it or hold it like that. So yeah, this is just made out of a Wiltshire file and just I just drew this out and then put the curl in. First attempt at a knife striker and I think it turned out all right, not too bad. Um, yeah, pretty easy to make. Um, took me, uh, I don't know, about three hours to make, but I'd never done one before, so yeah. If you're um, a, little, a lot more accomplished smith than I am, you could probably knock one out in an hour. But anyway, I thought I'd show you that. Um, yeah, I do like them. I, they're they're a good um, they're a good build, especially these larger blacksmiths knife slash strikers, because they're a lot safer to use. The smaller ones are a little bit more dangerous. I would um, be using them with a cut glove, mainly because of the fact that um, yeah they're. They're just a little bit smaller and you, you tend to go up onto the edge. I kept this one blunt at the moment, but um, I am going to um, sharpen it up. But, yeah, it's just um, I, I just haven't got around to it. That's as simple as that. But, yeah, I, I, I wanted to expand on the size of it just to make it so it's safer. So you can just basically use it like that just so you can spark on it. But as you can see, it's sparking very well. Um, it's pretty easy to get sparks out of it. So, yeah. But that, that I thought I'd, I'd, I just saw your post about, um, yeah, striker knives and um, using knives as strikers. I've, I tried the Moras. Um, they do spark, but they don't spark very well. As I said, they're tempered. Um, yeah, a, a lot of the high-carbon steel knives don't spark that well. As I said, they're all pretty well tempered. They bring their the hardness down, and as far as I I've tell I can tell, the harder it is, the better they'll spark. Um, you get a ten ninety five knife, and um, you harden it to sixty five Rockwell, it'll spark really well. But yeah, it'll be a bugger to sharpen, and um, yeah, it it they're just they're a lot far more too brittle usually you'll they'll they'll just they'll probably chip chip edges and things like that they just won't be as as good that's why they temper them out temper them uh, and and whatnot they don't they just don't leave them at that that high rock well all the time because um yeah they're just not as good but for strikers um you um can harden them a lot harder this one wasn't tempered yeah i didn't temper it i just oil quenched it so yeah probably isn't as hard as my normal strikers but yeah it um it certainly sparks as good as any of my water quenched ones so yeah so yeah it, it, it it's great but anyway i'm starting to ramble i thought i'd just show you that this is a, a a very good alternative to um, using a knife striker. I, I, I personally, I would not worry about using my pocket knives or or uh, mores or any of that, or silky saws or any of that. I'd make one of these, maybe even a. It's a bit big as a patch knife. I'd um, I'd make one of them, put it as a belt knife, and then use that as my belt knife uh, as a secondary belt knife as a striker and then have my moras or whatever and as as another knife anyway thanks for watching